welcome to day one of Ignite. Ignite is a four-week program that I designed to help you improve your form, technique, and fire up your muscles. In this series, we're going to be working on opposing muscle groups. So in today's session, we're going to be working on our quads and our hamstrings. Today's timer will be on for 45 seconds of work with a 15 second rest on each exercise. We have eight exercises to focus on and we're going to complete four rounds. In each of the sessions, there's also going to be a warm up and a cool down to complete too. I would recommend in today's session that on the first round you go slightly lighter in weight and then if you feel up to it on rounds two, three and four we can increase the weight. Focus on your form first of all in round one and see how you feel for round two, three and four. I'm going to be using six and seven kg weights today. If you have any questions or need any support just comment down below and I will get back to you. I'm sure you're really looking forward to starting and igniting up those muscles so when you're ready let's go. Okay, let's start with warming up our quads and our hamstrings and getting ourselves ready for the session. Good job. Just four more to go. And last one. Well done. Okay, come back to the centre. Legs are nice and narrow. Let's go down. Body weight squats and rise up. Great job. Okay, now tip from the hips. So you're going to practice your hips. Place your hands on your hips. Push your bum back. Keep your back nice and flat and hinge from the hips. Come down, stretch the back of the hamstrings and then rise. Do this eight times. Okay, last bit, let's kick up behind and just stretch out the quads one more time. We're gonna get ready and fired up for our first exercise, which is our heel elevated squat. So if you've got um, a block or a book handy, grab it and grab your dumbbells and let's get ready to go. Okay guys, our first exercise is our heel elevated squat. So if you've got a set of blocks, foam blocks, um, put them together. Or if you've got two books that are sturdy and of a good height, then place them together too. Place your heels on the block, grab your weights, and then you're gonna do a heel elevated squat. So when you're ready, let's get those weights. Here we go. Just put the heels right onto the edge. Stand up nice and tall, focus on your quads. Let's go. Great work. So try to push into the quads and rise up. Keep your chest lifted. So we've got more quad dominant work. Try not to hinge forward too much. And breathe in, blow out as you rise. Well done. Good work, we've got 15 seconds left. Excellent, let's go for two more. Last one. And then relax. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to change my weights now because our next exercise is an RDL. You can go slightly heavier if you wish or stick with the ones that you've got, no problem. Just get into position. Hinge from the hips. And let's go. Knees are slightly soft. Just past the knees, rise up. Squeeze the glutes in tight at the top. 
Breathe in. And blow out. Nice flat back too. Rising up. Good work. 20 seconds left. Let's keep going. Right, so well done. Last one. Down and rise and relax. Good work. Okay. Next up, we don't need any weights, so pop them to the side safely. Pop your blocks out of the way. Come down to the ground, onto your knees. Put your hands across your chest. We're gonna work the quads again. Nordic curl style. So when you're ready, let's lean back. Try to sit towards the heels. Rise up. Breathe in. And out. Now if you can't get that far down, do not worry. Just go to the biting point of where you can get to and then rise up. You should feel this in the front of your legs, your quads. Great job, you've got 20 seconds left. Good work guys, give you two more. And last one. And then relax, brilliant. Okay, next up, once again, we don't need any weights for this, but just grab one of those blocks. Place it underneath the right heel, lay down on the floor. Put the left leg up into the air. Place your hands on the floor and push to the ceiling with the left. Working into your right glute. Breathe in, blow out. Okay, you're gonna feel it in your glute. Maybe a bit in your hamstrings as well as we did the RDLs earlier. Keep pushing through and try not to rest at the bottom. Good job. Really dig into that block. Nice, five more seconds. And one more, and then relax, well done. Okay, we're gonna change sides. Just literally slide that block over to the left or the book. Well, if you haven't got any of those, don't worry, you can always use the floor too, so no problem. All right, let's put the right leg in the air, get ready, push into the left. Great work. Keep pushing up as high as you can. We really want to feel and ignite the glutes, fire them up. That's what we're here for. Pushing up as high as you possibly can. Oh yeah. Feeling the fire now. We've got 10 more seconds. Good, last one and relax. Perfect. Okay. Blocks go out the way, just grab one weight. I've got my 7 kg. We're gonna go, go into goblet squats next. We're gonna hold the weight here, mid stance. So hip width apart. And let's get down, breathe in. Blow out, once again, keep the chest lifted. So you work into the quads a bit more then. Breathe in, well done. So see if you can get down to that 90 degree angle and rise up. You're gonna feel your glutes a little bit too, but mostly connect your mind to your quads. Perfect work, five seconds to go. Last one. And relax, nice. Okay guys, so the next one, I'm gonna go slightly lighter, it's a single leg deadlift. You don't have to use weights in this, however, I am going to. Starting on the right side, we're gonna do a single leg, focus on your balance. When you're ready, go. Keep your leg 
nice and straight. Fill up with a hamstring at the back. We're working the hammies. Don't have to touch the floor. Just keep the back nice and flat. Focus on your hinge. You'll feel it at the back of your leg. Good to also have a point in the ground that you can focus on. You can keep the balance. Last one. And then relax. Good. Alright, we're going to the other side. Left side, get ready. Single leg deadlift. Let's do it. Really feel that at the back of the left side. Great work. We've got 15 seconds to go. So keep going nice and strong. Well done, we're only at the end of the round one. One more. Ah, oh, nice work. Okay, pop those weights down. Let's have a little break. Grab a drink of water if you need to. If not, get your muscles ready and fired up for round two. Coming up in 15 seconds, we're going back into heel elevated squats. The back of the blocks and the right weights. You can go up in weight in this round if you want to, but no pressure. All right, are you ready? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Down and rise. Let's keep that chest lifted. And smile. <laughs> Round two of four. Great job. So 15 seconds left now. Keep as upright as possible and down to that 90 degree angle. We've got this. Two. One more. And relax. Nice. Okay, right. So I'm still going to change over with my RDL because I like to use a heavier weight on the deadlift. I'm going to grab those sevens back again. Get ready in position, hinge from the hips. Let's go. Breathe in. And rise out. Great job. Ooh, now we're really familiar with this exercise because we did it in round one. So you should be feeling the pinch at the back of your legs. Keep the back nice and flat, don't round the shoulders off. Go just past the knees. Knees are nice and soft too. A lot to remember, I know. <laughs> Good work, five more seconds. Last one. And then relax, nice. Good work so far. Back down to the mat for our Nordic curls. So remember, we hold our hands across our chest. Put your knees on the floor and lean back. Woo, Nordic lean backs. Push forward, fit it in the quads. Great exercise, no weights needed. Just keep practicing. If you feel this on your knees, by the way, what you can do is just put a towel or a cushion just underneath your knees if you have any um, knee sensitivity. Good, 15 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Pretty good stretch into the quads. Last one. Rise up and then relax. Good. Back to our single leg glute bridge. Lock on the ground. Right leg in first. 
lay flat, leg up. Shall we do it again? Let's go. Really nice, push it as high as you can into the block. You want to squeeze and fill rock solid glutes. Good work guys, keep pushing, 10 more seconds. All right, last one and then relax, good. We're changing sides. As before, just move the block over. Really straightforward, isn't it? Challenging exercise, but doesn't require any equipment. So perfect, right leg up, left heel into the block. Let's push it to the ceiling. You're not resting on the ground for too long, so you literally tap and then push. Tap the base of your spine and then push. We can keep the glutes under that tension for the whole time. Don't let them relax. Very nice. Ten more seconds to go. Relax. Nice. Okay, guys. Back up. We're just having that one weight only for our goblet squats. Got my 7 kg. <laughs> Lovely, bright 7 kg. Can't miss it. <laughs> Let's do it. As you rise up, I like to squeeze also at the top so you get extra glute gains as well. So even though we're working into our quads, squeeze up tight. Get some great games too. Remember to stay upright, lock in your tummy, and get an all round great workout. Perfect. Keep it going. It's just five more seconds. And last one. Ooh, <laughs> brilliant work. Okay, round two of our single leg deadlifts. Once again, I'm gonna use my sixes. As I said before, you don't have to have any weight with this one. You decide or give it a go. When you're ready, down on the right side. Oh, feels so good. Especially the back of the leg, that's where we wanna really feel it our target area. Trust me, tomorrow, the day after, you'll be feeling this workout. These are one of the best exercises for the hammies. And balance too. <sighs> nice work. 10 seconds to go. Ooh, actually feeling it in my glutes too now. Lovely. <laughs> All right, double bubble games. Okay, left side in five seconds. When you're ready, let's do it. Even though we are actually working our quads and our hamstrings today, we will also be activating our glutes. We're focused on those areas, but certain exercises will also fire up our glutes too. So you may be feeling it there. Well done, 15 more seconds guys. Great job. Last one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go for that little break. 30 seconds before round three. We've done 
two. We've got two left to do, so we're halfway there. Well done so far. Back to those heel elevated squats. <laughs> Round three. Let's do it. Good work. You may be feeling a little bit past. That's natural normal. That's really good. Although we're focusing on muscle groups and strength training, we're also working our cardiovascular system when we're doing weights too. Ten more seconds. And last one, well done. Good. All right, back to your heavier weights or stick with the same. Round three of our RDLs. All right, coming up. Soft knees, hinge from the hips. Let's do this. our floor, Nordic curls, working our quads, hands across the chest, everybody back to the heels, see if you can get a bit deeper this time. feeling this in my quads now. Hope you are too. Last few. And one more. Relax. <laughs> right, back into those single leg glute bridges. We want to feel it in our hamstrings, but our glutes as well. When you're ready, let's go. Oh yeah, well done. Feel it in the back of the leg, in the hamstring, going into the glute. Keeping it under tension the whole time. dominant work on this exercise, push the block out even further in front of you, and you've got more of a hamstring lift here. Excellent. Five seconds. And relax. Oh, lovely. I'm loving the feeling now. Getting second wind. <laughs> okay, left side, as I said, you want more hamstring dominant work, then just push it out a little bit further in front of you. Let's go. Oh, up. Well done. Now we're really getting into the hammy work. seconds to go.
Oh, relax, well done. Okay, pop that block out of the way. One weight only needed for our goblet squats. Nice and narrow, 90 degrees. Holding it away from the body. Hip width apart. Let's sit down, 90, rise up. So nice and controlled on the way down and on the way up as well. Keeping the chest lifted. It's tummy sucked in. You got it. Great work, 10 seconds. Firing the quads for sure. And last one, well done. All right, back to those single leg deadlifts now. If you fancy it and you haven't done so already, pick up the weights and give them a go. If not, stick with body weight, it's also okay. Right side, let's do it. You can even start with some lighter weights if you want, or even the blocks, you know? You've got the blocks, just pick them up and practice with them. Yes, feeling great on the hamstrings, loving the burn. Hope you are too. <laughs> Ten more seconds on this right side. Last one. And then relax. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to break a sweat now, so. <laughs> Left side, when you're ready. Single leg loop, uh, single leg deadlift even. Let's go. Ooh. We've got one more round to go. That's all we have left. <laughs> We're on the finale round. Regenerate that energy. Get ready to finish strong. I love finishing strong. I think it's so satisfying. I hope you do too. That second wind of knowing that this is the last round and we're gonna get the gains. When you're ready. <laughs> I can tell this is a thing here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Forget the hair. <laughs> Who cares about the hair? <laughs> Care about the quads. Down and rise. Last round. Whew. Breathe in and out. Oh, I'm so happy. Really great three rounds so far. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well, no, not right now. Don't do that. <laughs> At the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Safely move everything out of the way. Pick up your heavier weights or stick with the same. Already out of time. Round four. Do it. Whoa, nice. Breathe in and out. In. Whoa. Good job. Remember, even though it's the last round, we must keep the form. That's the key thing. 
keeping the form and though we're fatigued, is the hardest part of any training session. So try your best or lighten the load. You know, you can lighten the load if you want, as long as you are keeping up with great form. Last one. Oh, relax. And Nordic lean backs. The last time back again. Hands across the chest. Knees soft. On the ground. Are you ready? Go. And push. Back. Breathe in and out. I'm laughing because um, I'm actually starting to break a sweat now. It usually does happen in my non-speaking videos as well, but maybe you just, you can see it, but I don't say it, so. <laughs> it's a good thing, it means we're working hard. 10 seconds. And last one. Yes, well done. Okay, so on this next one, we're going to really stretch out so we can get more hammy work done, okay? As I said before, push the block forward and lengthen out a little bit longer, a bit further away so we get more hamstring activation. Go. Yeah, I can feel it now, that's it, that's good. Ooh. Especially after those RDLs as well. Push up. Great job, five more seconds. Oh yes, <laughs> I definitely felt that more in the hamstrings as we were a bit further away that time. Let me know in the comments if you did too. On the left side, right leg up. Switching over, let's do it. For the last time on this leg, in this exercise. Try to see if you can still lift up really nice and high, even if you're tired. Imagine you want your toe to touch the ceiling. <laughs> Not quite that long. <laughs> I wish they were. <laughs> okay, guys, 10 more seconds to go. Ooh. Three, two, one. Oh, brilliant work. Okay. Coming up to our goblet squats. One way only. Hold it here. Let's go. Bam, rise. Now, mind connection into quads. Mind connection into quads. Breathing going at this stage, this is where we fatigue a little bit, so we need to keep the breathing going, keep us plugging through. Eight seconds left, and then we're on to our last exercise, our single leg deadlifts. To finish off a really strong four rounds. Well done. Okay. Right side. <laughs> I always start on the right side, but you choose whichever one you want to do. Let's go. Down.
15 seconds left. Last one, and oh, <laughs> that was a toughie at the end. Okay, left side, our last exercise, our last one for today. On the left side, let's finish strong. Just the last few. Oh, great job, one more. Oh, well done. Excellente, fantastic. You completed our quads and our hammies day. So well done, day one, sick. <laughs> now, let's do a quick stretch to make sure we lengthen out the muscles again. We'll start with the quad stretch. Bring the leg up, maintain your balance, hold your arm out to the side. Try to bring your knees in line with each other. And take a nice deep breath in. Five times, big long deep breaths. And change, other side. Get your balance, there we go. <laughs> Breathe in, five big breaths, so in, out. Nice fresh air, in through the lungs, and out again, last one. And relax, good. Now let's stretch the hamstrings, tip forward from the hips, run the hands down the legs. See if you can maintain a flat back, and then call the fingers into the center. If you can touch the ground, great. If not, do not worry. Just go to the best range you can. Keep the legs nice and straight. If you're even more advanced, you can put your palms on the ground and just stretch out, lengthen those hamstrings back again. Stay here for a little bit. a short stretch if you want to stretch any more and please feel free to do some further stretching we also have stretching videos available on this channel for you breathe in take a nice deep breath in come down and then out we're gonna do three times I look forward to seeing you in day two which is coming up we're gonna work our biceps and triceps so I'll see you there Thank you so much guys, well done. Have a great day.